everyone, it's Rachel here. Welcome back to Rachel and Better Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make some fast pockets. So I've got three different pockets to show you um, and I'm hoping we'll all get these done really quickly. So this is the first one I want to show you. This is the um, triple pocket out of um, one book page. Really simple to do. So you take your book page, you're going to fold it in half. Bring it down and then you're going to fold it in half again and then let's just give that a bit of a flat one away. Next thing you're going to do is bring your um, top corner down to the front and just square that off there. Then you're going to bring the next page of the fold down and not, you know, like leave a nice gap there then because obviously we only want to make um, three folds and again bringing that down keeping that angle there nice and square and then finally we're going to bring down the last section and we'll fold that over the top again now if you are using a single pattern paper what you can do to make the most of the pattern of your paper is we're going to just fold that little one at the back back in and then this one here you can leave uh, facing frontwards and then this one here, obviously, then we're going to tuck back behind. So the pockets should now all align like this. Now, you can stitch the edge to close it up or use glue if you don't have access to a sewing machine. Um, you want to think about if you want to ink your edges, now is the time to ink your edges before you um, glue it shut. And also, you will want to glue down these tabs just so that it reduces the bulk. So if we just do that quickly now. So we're going to take one corner in here. And we'll just glue down this corner here. And then we're just going to glue this corner here. Okay. And Hopefully then glue will be dry and we can just ink then all of the edges that we want to ink before um, we stick it down. There we go, just to take away a bit of the, the white and if we ink down here. And then we want to just do this fold here. And then we just want to do this fold here. And then all the rest can be accessed when it is folded closed. Okay. So as I say, you can either finish this off by um, gluing it closed or you can stitch. So um, I'm going to just glue this one. Um, I would normally use um, something a little stronger, because mainly with a pocket, obviously it's going to have a lot of pulling around, but um, my three in one's a bit runny today, so I'm going to just use a little bit of boohoo for this, just so that you can see the pocket finished. There we go. And that's it. It's as simple as that. So all I've done here to um, to decorate is I've just added a little bit of lace to um, to this one here. Um, and then obviously pop all your lovely things in there for your stuffed pocket. So that's the first pocket. Okay, so the second pocket is even simpler again. We are going to make um, a pocket like this here. And simply all you need to do is to take an A4 sheet of paper Pop your paper on a on a diagonal. You might want to line it up one of your grids just so you've got your points in the right place. Take um, this corner here up and you want to line this peak here with that peak there. Bring it down, straighten it across the bottom. And then once you've done that, you're simply going to pick up your two edges, Bring your right one over first and then you're going to slide the left one into that gap there. And if you couldn't find your glue, you didn't really need to glue it either. 
because it should just keep itself in place. And once you stick it on the page, it will. But um, if you do want to glue, obviously just to make sure everything stays in place and to make sure nothing falls through, you're going to want to put a bit of glue on the bottom there. And then simply we just pop our um, pop our tags and items in. And you can see them. You've got lots and lots of tech space. So you've got one here. You've got one here. Get a little bit to go in there. You've got another one. Oh, let's pop that one at the back because that's a big one, isn't it? So you've got one there. You've got one there. You have another one there. And then, oh, let's have a little dotty one in the front there. So there we go. So that's a really lovely stuffed pocket and then obviously for embellishment you can add lace you can add um on this one here i've put one of those little pockets we made at the beginning of the week so that's just again another added pocket um but yeah so really simple nice and easy pocket number two okay so for pocket number three i'm going to show you how to make um these little pockets here so basically um we're going to take a circle and we're going to uh, fold it in a way that then gives us um, something oops, like this. So as you can see here, we've got um, lots of space for um, storing um, tags and journal cards and all your ephemera bits and pieces. Um, I've made this one here using a large 12 by 12 uh, sheet of paper. Um, and these are pretty much ideal for um, if you're gonna send happy mail or something like that. Um, that might be a little large to go in your journals, but obviously just check that with, with your page. So, um, you know, if I was using a standard uh, journal size, you know, if, if you've got a full size, that might just fill a whole page, which is great. But if you wanted to just add it as a, a small pocket or embellishment, you might want to go with something slightly smaller. Um, and if you want something really, really cute, you've got these teeny tiny ones then here. And um, again, that would look quite nice. On there or you could have several on a page so there's lots of different things that you can do with these um okay so the first thing that we need to do obviously is to cut out um some circles now why <laughs> i often think oh my gosh i gotta cut out circles if you've got a cricket great it's easy just stick it through the machine and it does it all for you if not you can get circular templates i don't have a circular template so i literally just run around the house looking for things that are circular to give me different shapes so i think some of the things i used this morning <laughs> was the top of a, um, a, a jar my son's beaker cup <laughs> again it did the job um i've also used packing tape um the inside or the outside because obviously you're going to get a different uh, size but the size that i'm going to make with you now um, i'm going to use this lid so if you're using um pattern paper check which area of the pattern you're gonna want to um incorporate in your shape um, a nice faint circle all the way around and then um, a brilliant tip that I got from watching um, Kylie's crafty cards I think her name is um, she said about using long nose scissors because you get the best cut when you are uh, using uh, uh, scissors with a longer uh, blade um, just because it's, it's, it's less time that you're moving the scissors on and off the paper. So we're literally just gonna keep the paper nice and still, move the nose of the scissors around the shape. Um, and another really good tip that she gave us was, if your hands are really shaky and you're just not great with cutting circles, you can use a set of pinking shears or, um, you know, we all have those patterned scissors, don't we, that, that the packs. Uh, for um, edging and if you use those you really can't tell if it's straight or not and it makes your pockets look a little bit more snazzy as well so that's something you might, might like to try um, I'm just going to use these this morning though just to give you a basic idea of how we put the pocket together okay so there's my circle okay so the next thing that we're going to do is um, I'm, I like to Fold it up in half, obviously I'm not going to actually fold it, and I'm just going to go from the top to the bottom, I'm just going to pinch it in the middle there, because that's showing me then where the middle of my circle is. And it just helps with the folding. Put a little pencil mark there if you want. And then, using my grids on my mat, I'm, we are literally going to take the bottom one up to the top, 
up to the center sorry and you just it's just good to have a line to work along so that you know you're folding it nice and straight because even though we're working with a circle we do need to end up with two straight edges otherwise your pocket's going to be slightly askew so popping that on that line there i'm going to bring the top fold down just to meet and then hopefully when i fold out the top bit this will be straight on here now you've probably got a better view than i have because my camera's in the way of where my head needs to be there we go that's okay so if you can see now i've got a straight edge there and a straight edge there okay so that's the tricky bit done now all we're simply going to do is fold the bottom up about three quarters of the way up but it's entirely up to you how big or how small you want your front pocket to be fold it down flatten it out and then open it back up and now this is just the bit you might want to watch carefully this is the top of the pocket and this is the bottom turn it slight uh, to the side one angle to the side and then where you, you folded the front up like when we've got those little flaps can you see them there probably should, should use white paper first but where you've got there is a, a fold line there and a fold line there we are simply going to cut into this fold line here so very carefully because we don't want to go too far just till you meet the middle line there all right so you've just made yourself a little flap there and then we're going to turn it all the way around do a 180 and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side there we go okay so did you get that so now when we put the pocket back down we've got a pocket there and then the flaps that you've cut you're going to bring around to the front and they're going to sit there like that now what you also might want to consider is which side of the pattern you prefer because you might want to turn it over and do it this way so if you've got you know double-sided uh, paper that is obviously um but don't be afraid to just fold in both ways and just think, hmm, see, now I think that's better because I've got a little bit of the flowers there and a bit at the top. Okay, so the next thing you do is just to ink because um, obviously you've got a lot of the same colours folding on top of one another. Um, so just ink everywhere that is going to be visual from the front. You might find it easier to just start off at the beginning by inking both sides of your circle. Otherwise it gets a bit heady trying to work out what's going to be seen where. I should have done that before I cut it off, really, because it's a bit sturdier then. But that's okay. It's never too late. So we'll just put a bit of ink all the way around here, and all the way around here, and then across the bottom there, and across the bottom there, and there, and there. And then we're going to fold it up. Nope, we're going to fold those in. <laughs> there we go. And just do those edges up there. And the same here and then we're going to fold that up again and bring these edges in here All right so i need to do the front of there until you fold you very often won't notice what you've missed and i need to do that bit there and then once we fold those down just go across the bottom then okay so next bit now is the gluing so literally, I'm just going to run that across the bottom of the top bit there and the top bit there. Bring that back out and then I'm going to just stick that down there in place and then stick that. And then again, then we are going to, um, oh, sorry, let me book, get it all on the card. We are then going to glue here and here so that's the front flap obviously try not to come in too far depending on the size of your circle because you're going to lose a lot of your pocket otherwise my goodness it's like piccadilly circus out the front of my house this morning i'm going to live on a little quiet street um and then you're going to just glue then on the bottom of that fold there and then on the bottom of that fold there and that should be your pocket and there we go simple as that so let me see what i've got to hand here that i can tuck in so again if we pop that in the back but again this can be quite a well um stuffed pocket you could get quite a bit in here um you know you could put uh, some tags in the back and then you could fill the front up then with um all sorts of ephemera 
and things that are, um, you know, on the size of it, uh, relevant to the size. But um, if you wanted to embellish them then, you've got some different options. So again, what I've done with this one, I've popped some lace across the bottom just to finish it off, because obviously you do have a little bit of a gap. Um, and that just covers that over. And I just stuck a little envelope on that one there. Um, I didn't with that one because it was a bit small, but again, I just popped a bit of lace under this one. And then on here, I put that little teeny tiny little pocket thing I made the other day just to finish that off there. So there we go, that's it. Lots of ideas, um, lots of simple ways for you to make pockets. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, if you'd like to subscribe and click on the bell, um, and then you'll get notifications then when I post more videos. Um, it'd be great to see some of your uh, pockets. If you do post them on social media, just tag me in and then I can, uh, I can hop over and see what everybody's up to then. But uh, thanks for joining me today and I'll see you all again very soon. Thanks. Bye now.